Okay, I probably get about uh, anywhere from 30 to 50 emails a day wanting me to explain the bird in your warm-up and the, and the purpose of the bird in your warm-up. And I tell everybody the same thing, and I tell this in my courses, that the bird in your warm-up consists of five exercises, five tools, if you will, that you can put in your toolbox that if they practice daily, it will help you with your weaknesses in the Olympic lifts. The first exercise that we're going to perform is called the down and finish. One of the biggest problems that Olympic style weightlifters have in the snatch, especially, is the proper way to finish. Everybody thinks in terms of pulling a bar up, but in reality, the bar is driven up with the legs and the hips, and then the body is pulled down and around the bar. If an athlete doesn't finish properly, if an athlete finishes straight up, then intuitively that athlete is going to swing the bar away from the face. The first and most important thing is to teach her the proper way to do the term down. So I'm going to ask her to corkscrew her knees only about a half inch, and then this is the position that we want her to be in. Her shoulders are behind the bar. The wrists are neutral slightly, elbows turned out slightly. This is the position that we call the down position. And I'm going to ask her to stand. That's that simple. Now, if I have an athlete that bends at the hips, bend at the hips, then that athlete potentially can swing or bump the bar outside what we call the area of the base. So the down and finish. The purpose of the down and finish is to create speed through the middle, which you're going to hear her say, but the other purpose is to make sure that she has vertical hips and her shoulders are going to be shrugged as she's going down. Her shoulders are going to be shrugged behind her ears that will give her the opportunity to pull her body down and around the bar. So we always like to start our teaching from the start going down from the top going down so listen to what Zia says uh, my command is going to be down and finish listen to what she says we're going to do three reps and ready and down and finish Speed through the middle. down and finish Speed through the middle. down and finish Speed through the middle. that was excellent now you'll notice her arms are like ropes they're not real tight they're not like two by fours they're like ropes You'll notice that her shoulders are behind the ears. She's in a perfect position now to go ahead and pull her body down and around the bar into that full snatch or an overhead squat. Exercise number two of the burden of warm-up is the down and finish. We build on it. It's the down and finish. And her elbows are going to come high and outside to keep the bar in the least line of resistance or the area of the base. Now, the coaching point here is I teach no one ever pulls the bar up, but we have to understand that this is a drill. It's a drill to teach the athlete as they are going down to keep their elbows high and outside as they are going down so their bar will be kept in the least line of resistance. So let's look and see what this looks like. It's still the down and finish. The shoulders are going to lead the elbows up and the bar is going to be kept close to the body with inside the area of the base. Listen to what she says. Down and finish. Keep the bar close. Down and finish. Keep the bar close. Down and finish. Keep the bar close. Excellent job. She had a beautiful finish. The bar is kept close to her body. It stayed right in the area of the base. The area of the base, let me go back just a little bit and explain this area of the base. The area of the base is a rectangular box around the feet. It extends out about six inches. The toes are marked and the heels are marked. At no time during the pull should that bar go outside the area of the base. That way we know that the bar is lifted with the most efficiency. It's lifted within the least line of resistance. Exercise number three is called the muscle snatch. We do a down and finish, down, 
Finish, elbows, turnover, press. So the idea here is if I have an athlete that is slow or weak on the turnover, I will make sure that we do a lot of muscle snatches. Now you gotta be careful with the muscle snatch. The muscle snatch, still that bar has to stay within the area of the base. It's gonna be from midfoot to the heel. Athletes will have a tendency when they go faster to want to swing the bar back outside the area of the base. And if that happens, when it gets heavy, the bar could be lost behind. So in theory, the barbell is lifted, it's created speed through the middle, the bar is kept close to the body, the athlete pulls themselves down and around the barbell and then presses their body down into that overhead squat. That's really what happens. Certainly don't think about that, but when we drill this way, it will become second nature for you and you'll make it happen. So listen to what she says when I say the command is going to be down and finish. Listen to what she says. So here we go. Ready? And down and finish. Strong turnover. Reset. Don't rebend the knees. Down and finish. Strong turnover. Reset. Down and finish. Strong turnover. And she leaves the bar there. Now we want to work the footwork. 90% of all missed lifts are attributed somehow to the feet. So we're going to do snatch lands. Snatch lands are three exercises. They're going to be at varying heights. A snatch land, I'm going to ask her to land two inches. That's going to duplicate a very, very light power snatch. I'm going to add weight. I'm going to ask her to land four inches or deeper. That means that's a heavier weight. I'm going to ask her to go six inches, which is about parallel, which duplicates a heavier weight. A power snatch is anything that's received parallel and above. So here's the way she does it. These are snatch lands at two inches. Listen to what she says. And land. Footwork. And reset. Notice how she brings her feet back to that jumping position. Now she's going to go four inches. Land Footwork. and stands. Now she's going to go a little bit deeper. I've added more weight and land Footwork. and stand. The whole idea with weightlifting is that we don't want you to go to the hole all the way down and then let the bar crash on you. What we're really wanting you to do is go to the bar, meet the bar and then go down. So this is an excellent drill to teach you to meet the bar where the bar is. So now we're going to go all the way down. We call these snatch drops. So on this one, she's going to hit the bottom all the way. I'm going to ask her to stay there so I can take a look at her position in the bottom. And drop. Footwork. And stand. And she resets her feet. And drop. Footwork. And stand. Reset your feet and drop Footwork. and stand and come back to the high hang. Five exercises in your toolbox. Each exercise has a reason to correct one of your weaknesses. I do this every single day. We have to do it the correct way. We have to know why we're doing the exercise so we can communicate as a coach and an athlete. Bergner warm-up, done daily, will make you better.